This uh, video is just to get you set up on the Casio calculator, which is the calculator for 9th and 10th grade students at FDA. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to edu.casio.com. And again, we're downloading the emulation software for the calculator. Once you go to edu.casio.com, you're going to come down here where it says North America. You're going to click on United States. Then you are going to come up here where it says software slash app. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to come down here. You have to decide if you have a Windows or Mac. Obviously, if you have Windows, you're going to choose that. But I have a Mac, so I'm going to choose Mac. Then you're going to come down here. The names are all super similar. So make sure that the image on the left looks like this with the little circle there. Um, you know, the FXCG Manager Plus subscription. Um, you're going to click the download button. So click download. Then you're going to fill this part out where it says student, you are pre-university. Don't forget to fill in the country, region, it's easy to miss. So you're going to come down here, click USA. You have to check this box even though it looks like it's already checked. And then click the download button. Um, make note, especially for those on a PC, as to what the name of the file is and where it's going. Um, so then I'm going to click save and it's still downloading. So if you were on a PC, I think it will display for you what you most recently downloaded, um, but you have to go find that file and click on it. So there's my zip file on the lower left here. So I'm going to open it again. Same thing on a PC. You're just going to open the file and should unzip it. Um, this is the way it displays for me. It may come up on your screen. It's just a big like yellow icon. So you would just click on the big yellow icon. I'm going to click on this. And then you're just going to go through and say continue. You agree to the software license. No idea what you're agreeing to, but agree to it. And then install and then on a Mac there's an extra level of security that you have to log into your computer for but I don't think you have to do that on a PC so now it's installing just waiting for it to install okay I'm gonna close and then you have to go back out to your applications on a PC somewhere, get to your operating system, and you're looking for this. Okay, that's the icon you're looking for, the little light blue icon. It looks like a calculator. Double click on that. It's taken a while to come up. Okay, now this is easy to miss. It says, do you want to activate? You're going to say, no, I want to continue with my current version because we want the 90 day free trial. Okay. So click next. And then finally we have the calculator up. Well, almost. I'm still waiting. There it is. Okay. So, you can see it looks extremely similar to what we use in class. Um, you're going to use this to move around. So for example, I could click over to graph. It's highlighted in blue on here. What's a little weird is you cannot click on this screen up here. You have to use it as if it's a regular calculator. So you have to always be clicking down here. So I selected graph. In order to select graph, I'm going to come down here and hit the EXE button. So we could see there's already an X squared in there. If I wanted to get rid of that, I would just delete it and then press F1. So then let's say for example I wanted to put in X uh, I could put in X squared again or I could put in the let's just do X to the third power. Okay then I'm going to do EXE to get it to move down and then if I wanted to draw that I could just click that so that's X to the third power. Hopefully this was helpful Good luck.